Hey guys, my name is Bryce and in today's video we're going to be doing something a bit different to what we usually do. So this is going to be a new series, well my first series that I've ever done, called What's That Snake? So after you've watched this video, let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Should I do it more often? Shouldn't I? You know the deal. So we're going to be talking about the vine snake, also known as the twig snake or previously known as the bird snake. I'll call it the vine snake just because it looks more like a vine in my opinion than a twig. This snake's Latin name is Thelotornis capensis. Its body coloration is that of a twig. Obviously you can see that because they have to camouflage in low bushes and branches. This snake is a strictly arboreal snake, meaning it dwells in the trees and that. It's not terrestrial as in ground dwelling. These snakes have the ability to stay very still while they're waiting in low bushes and branches for their prey. Their prey is predominantly lizards, frogs and small birds. As I said before, these snakes can stay very still and have excellent eyesight. You'll predominantly find these snakes in bushes low to the ground, not very high off the ground, waiting for their next meal to pass them by. And something super cool about this snake is when it's threatened, it will inflate its neck and stick out its beautiful orange or red tongue with a black tip. Often you'll find birds attack these snakes because they are in low branches in that. The snake will then inflate its neck and stick out its tongue. Sticking out its tongue was once thought as a lure to lure the birds closer in so it can end up with a delicious meal. However, this is not true. Bites from the vine snake are very rare because these snakes are very placid and not easily provoked. They have a hemotoxic venom which affects the blood's natural ability to clot. So it basically thins out your blood and you'll basically bleed out from every orifice in your body. Not a very nice thought, especially because they do not make anti-venom for this specific snake. There have been few fatalities recorded from the snake, however not any fatalities have been recorded in South Africa. And these snakes generally can get confused with a juvenile boomslang. Sadly I don't have a picture of a boomslang or any video footage, you'll have to just believe me on this one. So have a close look and make sure you know what snake it is. If you see a snake in the wild and you do not know 100% what it is, you should view it from a safe distance. Distance, as no harm can come to you from viewing the snake from a safe distance. But otherwise, this is one of my favorite snakes. The snake has a fairly wide distribution throughout the eastern parts of South Africa. Although it's not very common to find one in your yard or even when you go out herping, these are an elusive and very shy snake. And definitely one of my favorite species of snakes for sure. They just have that beautiful, beautiful pattern and can almost camouflage in so well that they look basically invisible. You can be looking straight at their body and you won't know it's their body just because of how amazing their camouflage is. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video down below on that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. Remember to learn, explore, and inspire. Cheers.